Park Han Cho, the president of Korea's constitutional court, steps down after completing a six year term. This comes as the court continues its deliberations on the motion to impeach President Park Geun-hye. Our Kim Jong-soo has more on what this means for the ongoing trial. On the last day of his six year term on the constitutional court, outgoing court president Park Han Cho urged the remaining eight justices to concentrate their efforts and come up with a swift decision on the legality of the motion to impeach President Park Geun-hye, which was passed by the National Assembly on December 9th. The world is changing rapidly, but the country's president has had her duties suspended for more than two months. The remaining justices must resolve this situation as soon as possible for the national good. Although the court is now deprived of one justice, the number of justices needed for the motion to be upheld remains fixed at six. While the number needed for the motion to be voted down decreases proportionally to the remaining number of justices, which means it has now become more difficult for the motion to be upheld. Under normal circumstances, at least six of the nine justices would need to vote to uphold the impeachment motion, while four dissenting votes would be needed for it to be rejected. This means 66.7% support is needed for the motion to be upheld and 33% to reject it. But now with just eight justices, six of the eight are still needed for the motion to be upheld, while only three dissenting votes are needed for the motion to be rejected, which means the proportion of the court needed to reject the motion is just 25 percent. And that's not accounting for the fact that one more justice's term will end on March 13th. When Justice Lee jung mi leaves, that means only two dissenting votes will be needed for the impeachment motion to be rejected. The outgoing court president has previously acknowledged the urgency of the situation and said the court would do its best to reach a verdict before that date. On Tuesday, he also addressed the issue of constitutional revision, which has emerged amid calls to change the country's single five-year presidential term. He cautioned that any changes to the constitution must be made for the benefit of society and must not be politically motivated. The constitutional court will also hold a special session on Wednesday to choose a new acting president, with a likely favorite expected to be outgoing justice Lee Jung-mi. Kim Jung-soo, Arirang News.